Uh, as they said, my name is David Welter, and I represent the 75th district. So I don't actually represent the district that the LaSalle home is in. However, I do represent the uh, eastern portion of LaSalle County. Um, I would first like to take a moment, if I could, to apologize to the families and loved ones who have been impacted by this tragedy here at the LaSalle home. It was unfortunate to see as the governor took questions last week on the report that came out and the failures of his administration and his appointees that there was no remorse or even apology to those families and those who have been impacted here. So on behalf of the state, I want to apologize for our failures to properly care for your loved ones. With that being said, we have, Senator Rezin, myself, and those around us, as soon as we found out about the outbreak here in LaSalle County, started to call for accountability and try to get answers to a lot of the questions in which we have. Many of us have received anonymous complaints. We know folks who work here. We know people who have their loved ones in this home today or did have their loved ones. It's important that we get to the bottom of what transpired, who knew what, and when they knew what. In the House, we did pass House Resolution 62, as was touched on in, uh, by both senators here. Uh, House Resolution 62 called for the Auditor General to do a compliance report regarding the LaSalle home, similar to what was done with the Quincy Veterans Home. What I continue to tell people, and some people don't get, is that I believe many of the findings that they will come about from this are findings that came about after the 2019 report. The same findings that were signed off by IDVA, IDPH, and the governor's office when they had met and said that they were going to implement these policies. Here we are, many, many months after this outbreak here in LaSalle County, even prior to the coronavirus and this pandemic shutdown, there was time to implement these recommendations that were made, but they simply were not done. That is unexcusable. So I filed legislation today with Representative Lance Yedinak, House Bill 4077, a companion bill to Senator Rezin's bill that talks about the need to be on site right as an outbreak happens. If three days was too long at the Quincy home, then 11 days was completely unacceptable here. We are trying to find solutions so that this will never happen again. And we continue to be met with resistance from the governor's administration and others. And I think, again, another point that Senator Wilcox touched on, but I want to emphasize, this report that came out the previous Friday that talked about the failures from the governor's inspector general that they put out, the inspector general is a hiree of the governor's administration. And when you look at that report, it really talks about the shortcomings of IDVA and some with IDPH, but it takes no onus from the governor's office and what they knew and their action or inaction with this situation. So that's why it is so vitally important that the Auditor General, a truly independent body, conducts their review of what happened here so that we can see not just from IDVA, but the governor's office, IDPH, IDVA, everybody who was involved. Because our goal is not to make this political, but to ensure that a year from now, five years from now, we're not standing in front of another veterans home talking about another failure of this state. We have to get it right for our veterans. We're committed to that, and we are not going to stop until we finally produce legislation, till they call Senator Rezin's bill, till they call my bill in the House. They cannot just continue to ignore this situation and expect it to go away. The governor's office needs to take action. We are going to continue to demand that until he comes forward, takes ownership, and decides that he wants to move on this. Thank you.